when I first found the product, what I did was I was wrapping trees in it. I, I started, I got curious about whether paint would adhere to the mylar so I could use it as a, a background. I was doing a little artwork then. And um, I threw some paint on it, it stuck, and that started the process. Well, then I started doing poured paint projects. I poured different colors, move them around till I got an image I liked, and then let it set up. I've never been trained in art, so doing drawing, things like that, were beyond me. Um, I was one of those that didn't think I could. Well, I've been working at that, and I'm getting better at it, you know. But the, the progress of the Mylar uh, came about when I had done a poured piece that I overworked and I didn't like it and I tore it off the bed and I saw the color had stayed on the board where the glue had been and the light bulb went off. Since there isn't anybody else working with this material, the, um, I just called it selective transfer because what all I was doing was creating, cutting shapes and creating imagery that pleased me. It just became a, a large experiment, and I loved it because you just, no matter what you did, you had something of beauty, and nobody sees anything the same. Uh, if I look at a glass, I see a glass in the way I've been trained to see it. You see it in the way you've been trained to see it, and they aren't always the same. And that's really what I consider important in art, is that people uh, take the time Find something in a work of art that is interesting and pause to look at it. Because I believe that's when the artist gets into communication with the observer. The person observing the art, if you really observe, then you see into what I am, part of my makeup. You communicate with me on a level.